If your business isn't tracking the number of calls that are coming from your advertising efforts like Google Ads, you're simply leaving money on the table. Well, there are a couple of reasons why I found that businesses do not track calls inside of Google Ads, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why those reasons are wrong, and I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step process for how you can do it today. After you watch this video, you'll know exactly how to track phone calls that are coming from Google Ads, so you better understand if your marketing efforts are actually working. My name is Scott Redgate. I'm a digital marketing coach. If you want to save some money in Google Ads, make sure to grab my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet and I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's set up some visibility into phone calls in Google Ads. There's a fundamental flaw in the Google Ads accounts for a lot of businesses that I look at. And that flaw is this. There's a couple of important conversions that businesses have from their advertisements. So one of those conversions might be a form that you have on your website and a customer can fill out that form and then they land on a thank you page after they hit the submit button and you're tracking that thank you page as a conversion in Google Ads. That's great, it's simple to do and I do recommend that. But the other and even more important for a lot of businesses is when someone lands on your website or maybe they're just looking at your advertising and you want to track the phone calls that are coming from that user to your business, whether they're calling to book an appointment or sign up for your service or whatever that conversion might be. And a lot of businesses don't have phone call conversions set up. And I think there's two reasons for why this is. Number one, businesses think that you have to pay to do this. And then number two, they think the setup process is actually more difficult than it actually is. Well, we're going to bust those myths today. So I'm gonna share with you three free ways that you can track phone calls in Google Ads. The method number one, which I deem as super easy, is tracking calls from your ads. Method two is also easy, and that's using your website click events on a phone number, so we'll talk about that. And then method three, I label as medium, and that's where you dynamically swap the number that is on your website, and that allows you to see different metrics and different reporting that Google has from that phone call. And so the number on your website might change, but the end destination, which is calling you, is still the same. And we're not gonna talk about this because this is a paid option, but you can connect third-party paid options, phone call tracking services, and method number three as well, but we're not gonna get into that today. So first things first, with these different methods, before you even start setting it up, make sure you go into the admin section of Google Ads, and then right here where you see call reporting, make sure that you turn that on before you do anything that we're about to do. So to set up phone call conversions in Google Ads, what we're gonna do is underneath this goals section right here, we're gonna select conversions, and then I'm going to go to conversion summary. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and then you'll see this option right here to create a conversion action. And Google makes this very easy. So you'll see that the last option that they have here is a phone call lead. So we're gonna select that. And then we're gonna select again, plus conversion action. Now this is where you're greeted with two different things. Number one is tracking calls directly from your advertisements. That does not take any website code. And then the other options are from tracking calls from your website visits. So let's start out with the super simple one to begin. And that's calls from your ads. So I'm gonna select that. Then let's select edit settings. So when you select that, you're given a name to this conversion, which is calls from ads. And honestly, that's a good description of this type of conversion. Someone is clicking your phone number directly from the advertisement and they aren't even landing on your website. So it's a call directly from your ad. Now, this is your preference here. If you're using automated bidding, you're probably going to want to assign a value to this phone call. And so you can input whatever value you assign right there. Next up, you need to select whether you want to double dip the chip by clicking your advertisement multiple times and counting as multiple conversions, or if you only want to select that as one. Usually what I'll do is I'll select that as one. Next up, this is extremely important. So this call length section, if you select a very low number for this, like let's say you select one second. What that means is if someone calls that phone number and they're only on the phone for a single second, 
that has the ability to count as a conversion. So if you're using conversion-based bidding, that could actually increase your costs. So you want to input a number here that gives you a little wiggle room. And maybe when you answer the phone, if you know that it's not a potential customer, maybe it's a spam call, maybe you do everything that you can to get them off the phone within 60 seconds. And so you would enter 60, meaning if the call lasts under 60 seconds, it won't count as a conversion. And if it lasts more, it will count as a conversion. Then down here, you have some more advanced settings for how you want to count the conversion, but we're going to leave them as is for now. So I'm gonna click done here, and then I'm gonna select save and continue. And now the next step here is you actually need to create a call asset and then link that to your campaign. So I'm gonna select finish here, and to create a call asset, what we're gonna do is underneath campaigns, asset, I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna click this plus sign right here, and then you'll see call right here. So you can actually add this at the account level, which means that any campaign that you run would have this phone call asset attached to it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enter in your phone number, the number that you want Google to forward the phone call to. So you'll input that here, and then you're going to select save. And that's how simple it is to track phone call conversions directly from your advertisement. Now you might be saying, Scott, that's great, but I don't really care what happens in the advertisement. I want to send people to my website so they can get more information. And then I want to be able to track the activity once they're on my website. Well, you have the ability to do that in Google Ads as well. So we're gonna select phone call lead again, plus conversion action. And this is where we'll select calls from website visits. And so you have a couple of options here. If you want full reporting from Google Ads, you're going to want to select this option right here, which is someone calls a number shown on my website. So what you'll do is you'll input your number. So let's say my number is 555-555-5555. Then what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you include the format that you have it on the website. So let's say you do 555-555- and that's how it's displayed on the website. And the reason why this formatting is important in this section right here is because there's actually going to be code that replaces the way that your number is displayed on your website with a Google forwarding number only when someone comes from one of your Google Ads clicks. So they're going to call that number and then it's going to directly forward to the number that you have right here. And you're going to be able to get a lot of information from that call when you use this formatting. So you're gonna to need to make sure that your Google tag is properly set up. You probably did that when you were setting up your Google Ads account. And then what you're going to need to add is this event snippet right here. So you've got your Google tag and then you've got this event snippet that looks to find and replace that phone number that you mentioned in the previous step. And so you can see here, it says copy the snippet below and paste it between the head tags of the page where your number appears. Place the snippet right after the Google tag, then add an on-click attribute on the phone number. You can select finish, and now you can see that phone call conversion action is listed here. So if you want to adjust the settings of it, you can go and click on it and then click edit settings. And so you can do things like assign a different value to it, make sure you count it as one conversion, and then just double check, check your destination number and your display number along with setting that call length for whether or not it counts as a conversion over or under that call length that you input. This method is the most robust. You're gonna get the most information from it. But the downside of it, you might think, is that for those people that click your advertisements and land on your website, they're not going to see your true phone number on that page. So maybe you have a phone number that's easy to remember and you're really proud of the phone number that you display on your site. They're not gonna see that. They're going to see a Google forwarding number which then forwards to your actual phone number. And let's do the third free way that we're gonna talk about today for how you can track phone calls. And that's this option right here which is someone makes a call by clicking a number on your website. The advantage to this is that you can display your actual phone number on your website. There's not gonna be any finding and replacing going on. But the information that you're given is limited and also you're not going to be able to set that minimum seconds for how long someone needs to be on the phone to count it as, as a conversion because Google's not going to have access to that. So you're going to select use event and then again you can select 
the settings and you can go through those same steps as before. And then we're gonna select save and continue. And there's going to be a little bit of code that you need to input on your website. And so Google gives you the instructions for how to do that here. And if this is intimidating to you, AI can be your friend. So use ChatGPT or use Google Gemini or use Claude, whatever AI you prefer. And you can take this code snippet that they have and you can have a conversation with the AI for how you can actually input this in your specific website platform. So friends, those are the three free ways that you can track phone calls in Google Ads. I know I went out of order here. Method one is super easy and that's calls from ads and that tracks the actual calls from the search results page when they click your advertisement. We then hop to method number three, which is the dynamic number swapping and that tracks actual calls on your website by having a forwarding number that is visible to those people that clicked your advertisement, landed on your website, and then that forwarding number, when they call it, that counts as a conversion as long as it is greater than the minimum time that you input and you're given some nice reporting on that. And then the last one that we had talked about was method number two in this list, and that's the website click event. And that simply tracks a conversion if someone clicks to call directly on your phone number that's listed on your website.